Shalom friends and hello. If you're looking for some inspiration and positivity and something upbeat uh, and exciting and projecting wonderful things ahead and you don't look in the newspapers for that, you're probably not alone. And I share a little uh, experience that I had this morning. Um, they got me thinking. Yassi, our eldest son, has taken up running. He likes to, you know, do his little exercise, uh, and he's, you know, he wanted to go with me on a run this morning. So out we go at six o'clock uh, for our little trod, and uh, something caught my eye: the back of somebody's T-shirt, and it said something to the effect of "Great things lay ahead." And I thought that that was a, a wonderful thing to see first thing in the morning uh, and perhaps encapsulates the message of this week's Parsha. We start reading the fifth book of the five books, Parsha's Devarim, and different to the first four where the Torah takes us through many different experiences from the creation of the world to Noah, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the enslavery in Egypt, the exodus of Egypt, traveling through the desert, and everything that comes together with that. Parshas Devarim is Moshe Rabbeinu's uh, pep talk, as it were, to the Jewish people and preparing them and getting ready, getting them ready for what the future holds for their entry into the land of Israel and their settlement there and their becoming a nation. And it has this, you know, almost positive and upbeat, you know, projection into what the future holds. Uh, and similarly in the Haftorah, although this is the Haftorah that's read during the time of the three weeks, uh, Sunday uh, marks the Tish, Tisha B'Av, or is when we observe Tisha B'Av, um, which was the destruction of the Temple. Uh, in the Haftorah, we read about the positive uh, aspects that can still come about, despite the fact that um, our history um, is laden with you know many tragedies and difficulties that we've experienced um, throughout many generations the haftorah ends with this positive note of tzion bimishpat pade there are vishaveha bitzdaka the there's acts of goodness and kindness there's positive deeds that we can do that has a real impact in the world and can change the future for the better so rather than looking ahead and seeing bleakness um, and sadness and difficulty. Uh, let us choose to look ahead and take some inspiration from the parasha of the future beholds wonderful things and there are great things to come. L'chaim Shabbat Shalom and we look forward to seeing you soon.